Hi, I'm Nick Bell, and I'm the Group CEO of Decision Inc. In this video, we're going to talk about how to build a data-driven culture and the process of change that you need to bring about in your business. And the core concept we've got to get our business away from is this idea of training versus learning. You know, learning, a data-driven culture is a continuously learning culture. It evolves from training, which yes, is about the ability to acquire new skills. But really, a culture of learning is this continuous innovation, this continuous investment cycle. And it straddles more than just being a problem for HR because the whole business has to be part of this in terms of how we set the agenda and define what skills our workers are going to need in the future, how we create new content because the libraries of content and traditional training content is probably no longer relevant to this hybrid world that we're going to live in. And the technology changes are happening so quickly that you can't design a program two years ago and think that the content's still going to be relevant. In some parts it may be, but waves of innovation and waves of focus from these new technology vendors is going to really force us to be in this continuous investment cycle ultimately as well. Alongside that, you actually have to use technology to scale it. So it's got to be part of your strategy. Being able to use learner management systems or knowledge platforms or knowledge portals to actually scale data and scale this IP that you're actually creating for your business so that it's not just the group that does the training on the first day you run it, that in two years down the line, you've developed a training library that any new joiner can access and can get the same experience as the very first person who experienced that content ultimately. Alongside this, it's really important though that HR is part of the journey because you want this to become embedded in every role. You want literacy, you want learning to become a core part of every job inside of the business, embedded in the performance management cycle, embedded in the management conversations they're having. And when you get that right, that's what really lifts the organization. So at the human level, that building communities of practice, being able to create environments for people to talk about data, even across different business units, and not necessarily to solve a business problem, but to just talk about the potential of data, the opportunity, and share knowledge and share learning, that becomes an exponential accelerator of any data-driven culture program. So when you think about the human element and the other stuff that I've spoken about in our video series, when you bring this all together, this is what it takes to drive and build a successful data-driven culture and to help your organization become smarter with data.